Hey y'all, welcome back to Small Town Southern Wife. Tonight I'm making fried taters. And I wanted to show y'all how I make my fried taters and how I get them tender. Um, used to, I didn't always get them tender because they would turn out crunchy because I didn't know this little secret that you can do to keep them, uh, to get some tender so they're not crunchy or hard whenever they're coming out just frying with a little bit of oil, not deep frying. But frying them this way, They'll be tender every time, so let me share it with y'all. This is the way my mama used to do it when she made fried taters. And whatever you have left the next morning, you can have with uh, some gravy and make fry, uh, have you fried taters with gravy and a biscuit. So come on and let me show you how I do it. Here's my potato bin. So let's make some fried taters with purple fried onions. And I'll show you how to get them tender. Okay, everybody, to start with, you need to melt your half a stick of butter. And then we're gonna add in about a fourth of a cup of uh, canola oil, or whichever kind of oil you wanna use. But using half and half, the butter gives your taters a good buttery taste. So let's get it started. Okay, now that we got them washed, let's get them cut up. You don't have to get all the brown off, but I like to get most of the peeling off. And then once we have them all four peeled, I'm gonna rinse them off one more time. Okay, now that you've got your potatoes peeled and rinse back off, put them in a ice water bath that way they will not turn brown until you get them cut up but just because just that little bit of time can make them start turning brown while you're cutting them up and then once you get them cut put them back in your ice water okay once you have it cut put it back in your water keeps them from turning brown. Turn my hands off a little bit. And then Okay, everybody, this is what they look like all cut up. I've got them in my cold ice bath to keep them from turning brown. They're cut around one fourth inch 
And now, once my butter and oil gets hot enough, I'll show you what we do next. Once you get your onion cut up, break it apart so they're not in big chunks. This is what you're going to need for your fried potatoes. Four cut up yellow potatoes, one medium sized purple onion, fourth of a cup of water, one teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of total seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of chives, and then pink salt to taste. So let's get it started. While your oil is heating up, drain the water off of your potatoes. Now add your potatoes because your oil is good and hot. Here it's sizzling. Your seasonings that you have divided out and the measurements you want and put them in the bowl that you just used to dry it out. Now mix them all together. Now that you have it mixed together, put the seasoning over the top of your potatoes. Okay, now that you got all your seasoning in your potatoes, toss them together good. Mix it in. Let's keep this last little bit. Get a little bit in the bowl. Just a little pink salt or whatever kind of salt you like to use. O evenly over all the potatoes. some color to them and browning and let's cook it on medium for about another seven to eight minutes okay at this point right now I'm gonna make a little spot in the middle just to get my onions I'm fixing to add my onions Let me try to use this thing so it won't be so loud on guys. 
and work those onions in there. I've got purple. You don't have to use purple. You can use whatever you like. Okay. Now that they're, let's see, I think they're getting good and tender. They're all getting, I don't know. Now that they're getting tender, just try to toss them and get that goodness off the bottom of your skillet. But be easy with them because they're getting so tender they'll break all up into little pieces. Okay. And now, that one-fourth cup of water that we had measured out, this is what we're doing with it. We're going to put it in there. And that's going to help them steam a little bit. And plus, see how that helps you get your... Uh, little bits and pieces off the bottom of the pan, that little bit of water, that gets all the good stuff off your pan and on the potato. Okay, now see how tender they're starting to get? So now after I got my water, now that you got the water in them, put your cover back over the top and cook for seven to eight more minutes. real extra tender. But you got to be real careful with them because they'll fall apart. And now that they're done, let me show you how tender they are. And done. You know how sometimes before I learned how to do cook them to get them tender, it was hard to get the potatoes to get done. But look how tender that is. cut this off. Let me plate them up and I'll show y'all what iron skillet fried taters to look like. Okay everybody, this is what they look like after I served them up in a little plate. We're going to have a hamburger steak and fried potatoes tonight. And I wanted to share this recipe with y'all. I hope y'all give it a try. Thanks for watching.